Elizabeth with Breakfold Events and Media. I'm here in Breakfold Studios in Rotterdam for the first day of Breakfold Europe, and I am joined by my very good friend Susan Oway with True Reese. So great to have you back in the studio. So lovely to be back, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it lovely to be back? Yeah. So good. So you just finished a double header, so to speak. I did. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, give us a synopsis of the fleet update that you presented. Okay, so the, the fleet bit was a outlook for the fleet, so both the demand going forward and the supply considerations. The big thing about the demand obviously is the supply chain uh, crunch, if you like. Mm. When might that happen? Well, when might it start to unwind? The biggest thing is about great bulk moving out of containers into uh, back into great bulk ships. So for the last five years, we've been talking about the uh, impact of the containers on our fleet, and it's now uh, the other way around. So Drury are thinking that supply chain might start to unwind a bit first quarter 23, slowly, slowly. Um, on the fleet side, uh, overage in a lot of cases, especially the uh, ships with less than 100 tonnes safe working load, their average age of 19 years. On the project carrier side, uh, they're younger, they're sort of 12 to 15 years, but there's not as many of them around and the new uh, IMO regulations are going to be, uh, with regards to decarbonisation, are going to be difficult, the new types of project cargo that they need to carry. Uh, all of these are, uh, are going to impact our fleet going forward, I think. And the fact that there isn't, there isn't the investment and there isn't the yard slots for them, so where that's going to go. So at the minute, uh, we're still in a bit of a squeeze situation on, on all sides. Absolutely. And there's so many things changing. You know, you mentioned quite a few of them, but I spoke to um, Frank Mueller earlier, right? He was on the panel with you, and they do have a, a rebuild, some rebuilds underway, or new builds, new builds not yeah. rebuilds, yeah. new builds underway, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, that, so as we look at that panel, as you shifted to um, the managing rates and capacity, was there anything that struck you as unusual as, as you were participating and listening to their perspectives? So the carrier is a lot more optimistic, obviously, than they have been, <laughs> than they have been for some time. I think we, we are more or less uh, in agreement. I think they have a much, uh, what, uh, they have a longer term um, forecast with regards to when we might get this new normal. So that's what, that's the question on everyone's lips, what's the new normal? And my question is more, what is normal? And what on earth is normal going forward? Clearly where we are at the moment is, it's as unsustainable as the very, very weak rates pre-2020 were. You know, that forced a number of carriers out of, uh, out of business, there was consolidation among the carriers, and because of those uh, rates pre-2020, we now don't have the investment opportunities that other sectors have because there's a there's a lot more um, there's a lot more risk analysis taking place. MPV operators do not build ships without having a longer-term contract to look at. So, I think the carriers are much more. It's going to take a good 18, 18 months to two years for this to sort of start to unwind a bit. I'm, I'm a little bit more pessimistic, but then I think I have to be. I can't, you know, I, I, that's how I was brought up. Um, when I first started in the business, I've seen a lot, of, you know, 30 years, I've seen a lot of ups and downs, and I think it will come off, but I think it's going to, you know, when it settles, which could be, could be sort of end 2023 into 2024, it's gonna be higher than it was, but not as high as it is. I think that's for, and sort I think of we a were compromise. We were right? we were broadly in agreement about that, which was okay. which was which was good. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, that gives us some good insight. So thank you so much. Thank you very much for asking me. Yeah. So great, and uh, we will talk again soon. I'm lovely. sure that would be lovely. Thank you.